What is going on YouTube? What is going on Kansas City? And what is going on everybody? Welcome to the beat of KC. Super, super excited to provide this content to you guys. I really, really am. We're going to be talking about the second round pick to the Kansas City Chiefs. Pick number 58, that is linebacker Nick Bolden out of the University of Missouri. Beyond excited, some people call it Mizzou. Really looking forward to providing this content to you guys because Kansas City really did need another linebacker. We are kind of weak at that position. We had a few leave for free agency. So I'm definitely looking forward to covering Nick Bolden, his style of play, the smacky in the mouth, which I absolutely love that from a linebacker. So I'm really looking forward to providing content to you guys on this pick so if you're interested i suggest you stay tuned right after this but before we dive into the content start breaking down nick bolden i ask that you guys smash the subscribe button smash that like button Please, it helps out tremendously. It gets this content out, and we're trying to grow this channel. We're trying to grow this community, and I absolutely enjoy everything about this. So please, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and now it's time to get into the video. Let's go. Like I said in the intro, ladies and gentlemen, I'm beyond excited to provide this content to you because there's a few reasons. Number one, I do believe the Kansas City Chiefs definitely, definitely needed to get a linebacker in this draft. It just so happened to be the first pick that the Kansas City Chiefs had when it came to the draft happened to be Nick Bolton, the linebacker out of Missouri. We are going to talk about his size and some things like that. Um, and, you know, honestly, he was projected to go in the first round to Kansas City on a lot of people's mock drafts. Obviously, we ended up trading our 31st pick to the Baltimore Ravens. In return, we got Orlando Brown, and we also got in return another second round pick, as we know, went to Humphrey. So we're going to break down. We're going to talk about Nick Bolton. We're really going to dive in. I'm going to show you a few clips. We're going to see a lot of pictures, and I'm just excited to talk about this. So let's go. Here we go. So he is from Frisco, Texas. He was a junior coming into the draft. He is 5'11", 237 pounds. His arms are 31, 7 eighths, and his hands are 10 and 3 eighths. So really kind of get some perspective of what we're looking at right here. I do think his style of play is very downhill, going to smack you in the mouth. I mean, he is a linebacker. You want to plug holes and get those running backs I'm excited. So what did Andy Reid have to say? You know, this is from Arrowhead Addict. And Andy Reid said on Nick Bolton, you put on film and watch him play, and he just jumps out at you. So that wasn't too tough of a choice there. You know, I think there's some things you can draw from this. You know, they may be undersized. They may obviously not be best to the, the everything that a player needs to be at from a size perspective, maybe jumping the highest, running the fastest. But guys, there's some things you can't teach in sports. There's things you can't teach in, in, in a lot of things. And that's heart, that's commitment, that's drive, that's I'm going to give you everything I have. It doesn't matter, you know, what size I am and things like that. And you see that across the board in a lot of sports. So Nick Bolton is going to be a special piece for the Kansas City Chiefs, I believe. So we are aware that he was taken in the second round with pick number 26. Uh, that actually ended up resulting in pick 58 in the entire draft. So what we're going to do is break down his player bio from the NFL going into the draft. So here we go. Bolton played in all 13 games as a true freshman. 22 tackles, one sack after earning Dallas Morning News first team All-State honors at Lone Star High School. 130 tackles, 16 for a loss, 5 interceptions. He went from promising youngster to SEC star in 20. 19, earning first team all conference honors after leading the league with 8.9 tackles per game. That is absolutely tremendous. 107 total, 7.5 for loss, intercepting two passes, and breaking up eight others in 12 starts. He was named second team all Associated Press All American, first team all SEC, and the Buckus Award finalist in 2020, leading his defense with 95 tackles and 7.5 and tackles for a loss, including two sacks, while breaking up five passes in 10 starts. Bolton's father, Carlos, played football at Louisiana Tech. So I think all that information is extremely, extremely important, especially when you're talking about the accolades that he was able to receive. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people said that he is undersized. You know, if he's putting in the time, putting in that commitment like you're seeing in that, 
I, I'm I have no questions. You know that Nick Bolton has the the heart, the motor, and everything like that. It's just learning. You know the NFL, and I think that's what we're gonna see. Now this also fired me up. His comparison is Denzel Perryman, and we know Denzel Perryman because he played with the San Diego Chargers, which are now the Los Angeles Chargers, but he's been with them for a long period of time, so I really do like that comparison, and Denzel Perryman is a smack-you-in-the-mouth type of linebacker. So again, here is an overview. When you think about strong, forceful inside linebackers, Bolton is the type of player you might be envisioning. I, I love that right there. He's going to be or he's going to fall below typical NFL starter standards from a size standpoint, but his rugged frame and forceful demeanor help make up for it. Play recognition and pursuit instincts help carry him to the football, and he message uh, sending striker when he gets the runners squared up. He has a functional short area burst between the tackles, but will struggle to run down the outside run if he does not close enough uh, to the action. He will need to learn heavier or lean heavier on his instincts to help speed him up because of the size and speed limitations. Bolton plays with good field recognition when dropping into zone and has a history of making plays on football and coverage. He has a three down linebacker or he is a three down linebacker who can make an immediate immediate impact. So guys, something that I really like about this is the fact that they're talking about his skill set from really having a football instinct. Yes, there are some things that he can work on. Anyone can work on something. Nobody is perfect. But they say he has good football instincts. I do like that. Especially when it comes to expecting him to drop back in coverage. Because one thing that the Kansas City Chiefs like to do a lot is actually run the nickel package. You know, we understand that they run a 3-4 base defense. But there's a lot of the time where we're going to have, as you guys can see right here, you're going to see that there is uh, five DBs that end up being on the field, which then only leaves two linebackers, which is your your Mike and your weak, uh, weak side linebacker or your Will linebacker. So as you guys are seeing, you have your free safety, your strong safety, you have your cornerback, your nickel back, which typically in the Kansas City Chiefs can really f kind of fluctuate. We obviously carry you know, uh, a decent amount of corners. We obviously carry some safeties. You have Armani Watts. You have a ton of corners that you know, can come in and fill that. Dan Sorensen is one, you know, Thornhill is another, but then you have all of your extra corners. So Fenton, uh, the list goes on. Bo Peep Keys, I mean, the list really does go on. But you guys are seeing that there are only two linebackers on the field at this time. We understand that Anthony Hitchens is going to play. You're paying that man big time money. You understand Anthony Hitchens is going to be on the field. We did just go out and get Correa. Uh, he's coming over to us in a free agency from the Jacksonville Jaguars, previously from the Tennessee Titans. So honestly, we understand that he's also a very good veteran. Um, but then you also have some depth, which we're going to talk about. So this next piece was actually taken from ESPN, and it's really the depth chart of exactly what we can expect at the current state for the Kansas City Chiefs defense. This does show a base package of the three four. So in that case, you would have your weak side linebacker, you would have your Mike linebacker, and you would have your strong side my uh, strong side linebacker. So in this case, Nick Bolden would be your weak side. He would be a starter. Your middle linebacker would be Anthony Hitchens, and your uh, strong side linebacker would be Willie Gay. So in that case, yes, this does make sense. But like I stated, there's a lot of the time where you know we like to run that nickel package. We like to get more corners out there. We understand that the NFL is a very pass-driven offense. Unless you're playing the Tennessee Titans where they like to ground and pound with Derrick Henry, you're going to get a lot of passing. So there's going to be either an extra tight end out there or an extra receiver that is going to need to be covered. So we do understand that. But from a base package, we do see Nick Bolden as a starter. Behind them is going to be uh, Dorian O'Daniel, Ben Neiman, Omari Cobb, it looks like Darius Harris, uh, and then Emmanuel Smith. So really, behind those guys, there really isn't a ton of depth. Um, and that's why I was pretty excited when they took Nick Bolton um, for that reason. So the final coverage pieces that I'm going to really talk about on Nick Bolton are going to be, this one is going to be from Pro Football Focus, and this is going to be like his draft breakdown from them. So we're going to give you the pros and cons. It says, and we're going to start out with the pros. Brick wall. Opposition will be the one moving backward on contact. I absolutely love to hear that. Processing speed is elite. It says, seize the game exactly how you want a linebacker to. 
I think that is extremely, extremely important um, because, like I stated earlier, ladies and gentlemen, that means that he has the instinct. There's just some things you have to work on, maybe show some more film, break some things down, but he has the instinct. Uh, consistently makes plays and coverage despite average physical tools. Again, uh, that that's good information right there. It says limited from a height link standpoint, guarding taller tight ends could be an issue. So this is now the cons. Speed is average, not your modern coverage linebacker. Um, it depends, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you're necessarily going to ask him to cover all the time. He may be dropping back in a zone type play, but a lot of the time, he's going to be driving down. He's going to be trying to hit you in the mouth and, and knock you backwards. That's what he's going to be there for. It says, get stuck on blocks from time to time when he doesn't get a head of steam. I mean, that's going to be anybody, really. You know, I, I completely understand what they're saying. And it's gonna we're going to have to see if he can progress from that. But not every single person is going to be able to shift off of every block. Um, you know, I mean, that's just not going to happen. So... I do like everything that they posted here from a pros and cons perspective. This final piece that I'm going to provide you on Nick Bolden is going to be really his position breakdown, where he played for the last three years, because we understand he entered the draft as a junior. So he did play some corner. Uh, he played corner in 2019, 14 snaps. Um, and then in 2020, he played in five. Slot corner, he in 2018, his freshman year, he played five. 2019, he played 16. And then in 2020, he played nine defensive linemen. And I think this is interesting. So there, it, 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 more than likely, it was a DN position. But uh, it says in 2018, he lined up there eight times. 2019, 25 times. And in 2020, 32. Now, this is where he played majority of his snaps is the box. And you like to see that, especially the downhill smacky in the mouth linebacker. So he played in 2018, 86. 2019, 692 snaps in the box linebacker position. And in 2020, 538. Free safety, played zero. So, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, we get a true linebacker that understands the position. Uh, he did obviously play in some other things. But, you know, we're getting a true linebacker, and that's what I like to see. I really appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this breakdown on Nick Bolton. I really do look forward to him being added to the Chiefs lineup at some point. I do feel that he is definitely, definitely going to have a massive role in the Kansas City Chiefs organization. Um, I do feel he is going to really kind of boost that linebacker position. And I really look forward to having two young linebackers, him and Willie Gay, you know, roving out there, doing what they got to do. It's going to be absolutely fun and incredible. So I do appreciate you guys swinging by, checking out this video. And I do appreciate you swinging by and also checking out the beat of KC. As always, have a good day.